And right now we want to get you back to some breaking news from Syria, where a rebel group with al-Qaeda-linked militants are warning residents of a Christian village, quote, convert to Islam or face beheading. These rebels have grabbed control of a series of ancient Christian holy sites in the city of Malula, just outside the Syrian capital. Leland Vitter has obtained video that has never been seen on television of these jihadi fighters giving tours of the conquered sites. He joins us now live from our Mideast Bureau with this uh, very, very difficult turn of events in Syria. Leland? Exactly, Martha. We've already heard that there have been some executions inside Molula, and they are very strategically important villages that the Syrian army has now lost control of. And keep in mind that the jihadis who have taken over these villages, the rebels, have very strong links to al-Qaeda syndicate groups. So not only do they view the Christians inside, some of the nuns and some of the monks, as heretics, but also as traitors for supporting President Assad's regime. Once a picturesque pilgrimage site home to centuries-old monasteries, Malula and its history are now the latest victims in Syria's sectarian civil war. One nun said she hid the local orphans in a cave before rebels overran the city's main churches. Now we are in front of this church and the families of Malula are here and safe. God is great, said a rebel from the back of his pickup. Clearly jubilant rebels gave a video tour of one convent, pockmarked with holes from artillery and filled with shrapnel. These pictures were taken before reports of jihadist rebels lighting the churches ablaze and destroying the religious symbols inside. Reports indicated that most of the village's 3,300 Christians fled the fighting early on, leaving the hillside village a ghost town. But those that stayed faced an uncertain fate at the hands of increasingly extreme rebels. Their ranks often filled with foreign fighters looking to turn Syria into an Islamic state. God is great, cried the rebels after a reported 1,500 fighters took the village. As one of their videos ended, automatic weapons fire pierced the air. That is the Assad regime firing on the village, explained the photographer. It is too early to tell right now if the Syrian army is going to be able to retake this village, but the brutality of the rebels and also their jihadist leanings is setting up an awful choice for a lot of folks, Martha, really between a regime and a dictator who is allegedly willing to gas his own people or rebels and jihadists on the other side who are willing to behead those that don't give up their Christian faith. Martha, so, back so to you. So much misery uh, in Syria right now, and that is uh, difficult, difficult options. What an incredible video uh, you've brought us. Leland, thank you very much. Such an important element in this story, what is happening in those Christian communities in Syria right now. So